Hello, and welcome to Roth's world. I am Roth, this is my world, and welcome to it on this absurdly fatigued Thursday. It's not Hostel Wednesday. It's absurdly fatigued Thursday at my Mason High School where OGT week is upon us, where juniors and seniors get to sleep in till 10, but oddly when they come to class are more tired than they normally are because of their morning forays to IHOP and Waffle Houses and things of such nature. Where the sophomores are fatigued, and rightly so, from their testing rigor. And where the freshmen, and quite honestly, I don't know what they do, but it looks to be something with kindness that makes them a little tired too. And quite honestly, the staff, we're tired, our schedule is confused, and I'm hungry. Now, in the news, I'd like to say, a few words about the new Pope. Ex sulamare laudem, Pope Francis, which translates awkwardly with my pronunciation into out to shout at praise, as in a shout out to the new Pope. I don't know what that dance was, but I don't think it was a shout out. It's a shout to. Now, a few things I'd like to talk about. Yesterday when the Pope was announced, I came to the understanding that even the Pope has a Twitter account. It's actually at Pontifex. And the first papal Twitter, that's right, I said papal Twitter, was Habemus Papam Franciscum, which sounds a lot like Francisco. Francisco. I like to say the name Francisco says Will Ferrell in the movie Elf. Francisco. Habeas Papam Francisco. We have a new Pope. Brackets. Francis. Now, if the Pope has an account, it does lead you to wonder, why don't I? The other thing I'd like to spend some time talking about in relation to the Pope is the fact that he has the Pope Mobile. And while this Pope has been known to travel on standard transportation, he may be using what we call the Pope Mobile. Now here's what I wonder. If the Pope Mobile had been in existence when Abraham Lincoln was alive, would it possibly have made any difference? I think so. Now you're thinking, wait a minute. There were not automobiles, Roth, in 1865 when he was assassinated. You're right. But imagine, no mobile, just a Pope case for him. Hmm? Could history have been changed with the Pope Mobile? We wonder. In my feature segment today, I'd really like to talk about something near and dear to my heart, and that, my friends, is parking lot safety, which simply can be solved with something known as parking lot etiquette. Now, I know that you've all seen the parking lot in the mornings, and you've seen the peril that people are often thrown into. It's dark, it's crowded, new student drivers, but you know what? It's not the new student drivers that are the problem. It's not the buses. It's not the staff. Who could it possibly be? To illustrate this, I'd like to show you what happened to me once, actually twice, but I'm only going to focus on one of the moments, a few weeks ago. Let me introduce you to some of the players in our reenactment today. My red construction paper will represent the drop-off zone. My yellow paper will represent the crosswalk, the safety zone. The what? The safety zone. My arrows on the blue paper which should be green because it would have been a much better choice for me to make them green, but I didn't have green paper and my assistants that helped me design Roth's world did not say these should be green, they should have been green, because green means go. The arrows will indicate the areas where you are supposed to drive. Our cars will indicate people who have driven correctly into the parking lots. My car will be represented by the very small micro machine to indicate the level of power that I have in the parking lot in the morning. What I will call the death mobile will be represented by the blue Dodge Charger, even though in reality it was actually a black SUV. And it did probably not have such cool 
doors as the Shelby. This figure who is missing a hand will be some of the students that are in the parking lot. What? You laugh. My assistants are cackling in the background, causing me to lose my focus. And laughs into a bit of a British accent. I'm struggling to regain my composure. Stop laughing at me. <laughs> he's missing a hand because he's at an encounter with the blue charger. <laughs> they are now snorting in the background. I don't know if you can hear them. Um, <clears throat> Darth Sidious, also known as the Emperor in the Star Wars series, will be representing the powers of peril in the parking lot. He will be a representative symbolic, if you will, of the darkness in the morning, the earliness of the hour, the drama perhaps of the weather and the snow beating across us as we enter the building. He will be here and actually also representing the driver of the Dodge Charger again, which in reality was actually a black SUV. I, of course, will be represented by the very wise Yoda. There would be no other choice for me. Let me tell you what happened not so long ago. The rain, the wind. The Dodge Charger black SUV. Not following the rules and not wanting to wait in the drop-off zone to drop off said child. Goes around the others, drops off child who runs in the door, Roth has parked her micro machine and has gotten out, very wise, thinking, I will walk safely in the crosswalk. Oh, wait, no! Here comes the black SUV Dodge Charger, which is blue, who's not going to follow the arrows and come 35 miles an hour in a parking lot down the aisle right at Roth. Roth, because of her Jedi-like cat reflexes, jumps out of the way. And the driver continues to about right here when Roth is looking aghast. You nearly hit me. The woman's like, I'm so sorry. This is after she's passed me and I've leapt cat-like out of the way. These near-death encounters happen on a daily basis in the parking lot. So while you may laugh at my pain, I think we need a proposal. And here's some options that I've been thinking about. One, in the mornings, I could wear a vest that is orange, perhaps reflective, and says pedestrian. Don't hit me. That's an option. I don't like this because I don't look real great in orange. Two, we could possibly use spray paint and spray paint the crossword or the crosswalk, not the word, yellow. That's, a, that's an option, but it's going to cost some money. Another option that I'm kind of in favor of would be to install some speed bumps at strategic locations. Now, I don't mean just any speed bumps, my friend. What I mean are those speed bumps like they have at the White House and near other government buildings where if you get too close or you don't follow the rules and driving over them, boom, boom, they hop up and they pop your tires. Yes, that's right. That could be an option too, a costly one at that. Or maybe, and I know this is out there, we adopt a kinder, gentler approach. Parking lot etiquette. Don't hit the pedestrians. Follow the arrows. Stay in line. Do what you're supposed to do. And like I said in the beginning, it's not the students. It's the parents. And you know what? I can safely say that's because I am a Mason school district parent as well. But I follow the rules. Now. Finally today, I'd like to, in Roth thoughts, tell you a few random things. One, I have what I've been told is called a vlog, a video blog. Vlog. It sounds Russian. Two, Mrs. Ortega, you let me have coffee last trimester. You mixed it with mocha and a coffee blend that was delightful, and I wish I could recreate. So thank you. 
she sticks, they should be easier to open. And finally, Mama, don't let your babies grow up to be puppeteers. Not cowboys, but puppeteers. It's weird. Sign off. This is Roth's world. Welcome to it. Ex suclamare laudem. <laughs>